This is a short tutorial on how to publish your website or a portion of your website to a local folder. Uh, this would be used really with the purpose of being able to share the folders um, with another person, which is what we're going to be doing, so we can upload them separately um, to a single browser from multi multiple designers or builders of the site. Um, but it's also um, uh, good just to review the site and be able to see what the site looks like without actually publishing it. Now, I'm using I, iWeb09, iLife09, and they've changed this uh, in a nice way. Um, in itself, it's worth the upgrade because they've added publishing via FTP directly from iWeb, which is very convenient. Uh, it used to be a big problem. Um, but basically, I'm going to show the differences here between 08 and 09 in the iLife series um, and take you through the process. So basically, I've created a little area called Mugs Mac User Group Stow um, for our Mac User Group and the site that we're building. I've created a dedication page, which I've been working on during the tutorials that I've been giving there. And I'm going to publish this to a folder. Um, basically, if I was going to do this and I were in uh, uh, iWeb 08, I would literally from here just go up to File and Publish Site to a local folder. And that's it. It would ask you a location and you put it there. So if you have iWeb 08, you want to go, you want to click on the page you want to publish to a folder, go up to File and Publish to a folder, and then choose the location. So that for the next 30 seconds, this tutorial is going to refer specifically to iWeb09, but for 08, that's what you need to do, and you'll you'll see in a minute how you're going to choose where that's going to go and how you can review it. So keep watching. Um, so in the case of 09, and in the the tools that I'm using here, I'm going to click on the header for the site, which I've given the name Mugs M U uh, M U G S Mac User Group Stow. And you see here it shows me where I'm publishing it. Right now it's saying it wants to publish to my mobile me account. I can change that to an FTP server, which means I can upload it to any any um, hosting service or any uh, files on the web and have it located there for the public. Or in our case now I'm going to choose local folder and here it shows a nice little folder and it changes up here as well to show a folder. And I'm going to choose a contact email. So we'll say blah 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 I guess I wouldn't have uh, the spaces for for that at blah dot com okay so that's my obviously I'm gonna put in my real email but I'm just doing this because this is going on to the World Wide Web and I don't want everybody to have that information um, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to choose a location now, and this is where it links into what you're doing in 08. And you'd get the same window here if you had chosen up here in 08 to publish to a folder. Um, now I'm going to choose a location. I created a folder called uh, Mugs. Actually, um, I'm going to create a new folder here just for the purpose of this. I'm going to just just call it uh, temp just to give it a, a location this will be the folder that I'll save to a thumb drive for instance um, for later use and I hit choose now I'm back to 09 and I'm gonna click on publish site it sends it to that location on my computer takes just a moment and they even give you an option here to visit site now so if I click on that it's gonna take me to my browser I'm just gonna say OK and we're going to locate that website. So I'm going to go down to my finder and I'm going to go into I'm going to go back to the uh, location where I put it uh, follow the path to where it is. I've got there's that temp folder that I created and inside here you're going to see this index.html and it even gives you a preview in Leopard OS 10 um, in, uh, in the Leopard version of OS 10 that is. Um, I can um, even click on quick look here and get a little view of it. But really cool is what I can do is if I double click on it it's going to show it in my 
Safari browser. Now I use a different browser, so I'm just going to go down here and say open with and click on Safari so you can see it in what everybody's default browser is. So now it's going to open this folder in Safari so that I can see what it would look like as though it were accessible um, on the web. Uh, it takes a moment for it to open. You can see up at the top it's already got the name of the page, Donald R. Webb, who this site is being dedicated to. And there it is. And now if these were live links, I'd be able to click on them and it would take me to different places. In this case, I haven't made them live yet. This one is. Um, uh, it takes me somewhere else, but I haven't set that up yet, so I'm not going to go there. And there you go. Publish to a local folder. Now, for those of you who are going to be bringing this with you to our user group meeting, or if you want to take it to somebody else, if you're not in our user group meeting, you're just watching this, just go to that location where you have that whole folder saved, the temp part of it, because that contains everything. And you'll want to drag that and put it into your thumb drive or whatever drive you're using to keep it saved. And voila, it'll be there for you to carry with you next time you need to have it. Okay, thanks for watching.